all right good day everyone so welcome back to my youtube channel and this is Catholic and vlogs and today we'll be talking about the multinomial distribution the multinomial distribution is a probability distribution of the outcomes from a multinomial experiment so multinomial experiment is a statistical statistical experiment that has the following properties the first one is the experiment consists of n repeated trials each trial has a discrete number of possible outcomes and only given trial the probability that a particular outcome will occur is constant. The trials are independent, that is the outcome on one trial does not affect the outcome on the other trials. Consider the following statistical experiment. You toast two dice three times and record the outcome on each toast. This is a multinomial experiment because the first the experiment consists of repeated trials. We toast the ties three times. Each trial can result in a discrete number of outcomes, example 2 through 12. And the probability of any outcome is constant. It does not change from one toast to the next. And the trials are independent. That is, getting a particular outcome on one trial does not affect the outcome on the other trials. So these are multinomial. So note that a binomial experiment is a special case of multinomial experiment. Here is the main difference. With a binomial experiment, each trial can result in two and only two possible outcomes. With a multinomial experiment, each trial can have two or more possible outcomes. All right, so the perm the formula for multinomial distribution is this one. Px is equal to n factorial x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 factorial, and x sub k factorial. We're in the probability, all right, so if this e are, the e is the events, and p is the co corresponding probabilities, and x is the number of times e will occur, x times 2 times will occur and x times 2 are, and occur etc and the probability that this occur is 1 so this one we're going to we have here p sub x raised to sub 1 so we need to say you are going to raise it by the exponent of this one okay so for example how many times you repeated it where x sub 1 to x sub n is equal to n so dapat is equal to the number here and the probabilities is equal to 1. So take note, this one, the summation of all x here would, should be equal to n and the probability should be equal to 1. So take note, this is p raised to x sub 1. So this is, you're going to raise it to the exponent or the raise uh, with the power. So note again, note again that the multinomial distribution can be used even though displacement is not done, provided that the sample is small in comparison with the population. Again, note that a multinomial distribution can be used even though replacement is not done, provided that the sample is small in comparison with the population. Let's try problem number one. In a large city, 50% of people choose a movie. 30% choose dinner and play, and 20% choose shopping and leisure activity. If a sample of 5 people is randomly selected, find the probability that 3 are planning to go to a movie, 1 to play, and 1 to shopping. So the formula for this one, or first, is we need to find for our n. Our n is equal to 5. Our x sub 1 is equal to 3. Okay x sub 2 is equal to 1 and x sub 3 is equal to 1. Next is we're going to find for the probabilities. The probability of 1 is 0 0.5, the probability of 2 is 0 0.30, and the probability of 3 is equal to 0 0.2 or 20. Okay, so by the use of the formula, probability is equal to n factorial over so uh, this you could replace at immediately as 5 factorial over 3 factorial, 1 factorial, 1 factorial. Then after that one, multiply it by 
0 0.5 raised to 3 then 0 0.3 raised to 1 and 0 0.20 raised to 1 so by the use of calculator if we're going to calculate this so 5 factorial over 3 factorial 1 factorial 1 factorial 0 0.5 raised to 3, 0 0.3 raised to 1, and 0 0.20 raised to 1, or with a power of, so the result is 0 0.15. So this is the probability that our three planning to go to movie, one to play, and one to shopping mall. Okay, so let's proceed with number two. A small airport coffee shop manager found that the probabilities a customer buys 0, 1, 2, 3 cups of coffee are 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.15, and 0 0.5 respectively. If 8 customers enter the shop, find the probability that 2 will purchase something other than coffee, 4 will purchase 1 cup e coffee, 1 will purchase 2 cups, 1 cup cups, and one will purchase three cups. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we need to find for our n. And you need to find for our x. So first is x sub 1. Our x sub 1 here is equal to 2. Okay, our x sub 2 is equal to 4. x sub 3 is equal to 1. And x sub 3, 4 is equal to 1. Okay. So, next is we need to find for the probability of each 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.15, and 0 0.05. So, these are the probability of each. So, by the use of formula, px is equal to 8 factorial over 2 factorial, 4 factorial, 1 factorial on 1 factorial okay times 0 0.3 squared okay so 0 0.5 raised to 4 and 0 0.15 raised to 1 and 0 0.05 raised to 1 so if we're going to calculate this one the result of this using calculator is 0 0.0354 okay so, 5, 4. Okay, 5 and 4. So, this is problem number 2. Moving on to problem number 3. A box contains 4 white balls, 3 red balls, and 3 blue balls. A ball is selected at random and its color is written down. It is placed each time. Find the probability that 5 balls are selected. 2 are white, 2 are red, and 1 are one is blue. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to find for our n. Next is our x sub 1, which is 2. And x sub 2 is equal to 2. And x sub 3 is equal to 1. And after that one, we need to find the probability of each. For the white, so we have here 4 over 10. Okay, this is 4. 3, 3, that is equal to 10. So, 4 over 10. Next, x sub 2, we have here 3 over 10. So, this is probability 1, probability 2. And probability 3, so the result is 1 is 3 over 10. So, now, by the use of our formula, so px is equal to 5 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial, and 1 factorial times the probability h is 4 over 10 raised to 2 and 3 over 10 raised to 2 and 3 over 10 raised to 1. Okay, if we're going to calculate that one using calculator, so the result of this is 81 over 625. So this is the probability that five balls are selected. Two are white, two are red, and one is blue. Okay, let's proceed with problem number four. Suppose a card is drawn randomly from an ordinary deck of playing cards and then put back in the deck. The exercise is repeated five times. What is the probability of one spade, one heart, one diamond, and two clubs? 
The first is we need to find for our n. Our n is equal to 5. Our x sub 1 is equal to 1. Our x sub 2 is equal to 1. And x sub 3 is equal to 1. And x sub 4 is equal to 2. Then we need to find the probability of each since uh, the probability of drawing speed, hard time in two clubs, uh, the probability of each one is 0 0.25. There are four. So 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0 0.25. So the probability for a spade, heart, and diamond are the same, 0 0.25. If we're going to compute using this formula, so 5 factorial over 1 factorial, 1 factorial, and 1 factorial, and 2 factorial. Then multiply it by 0 0.25 raised to 1, 0 0.25 raised to 1, and 0 0.25 raised to 1 and 0 0.25 raised to 2. If we're going to make use of calculator, if we're going to make use of calculator, the result of this is 0 0.05859. So this is the result when you're going to use, you solve for number 4. And the last one problem, suppose we have a bowl with 10 marbles, 2 red marbles, 3 green marbles, and 5 blue mar marbles. We randomly select 4 marbles from the bowl Re replacement. What is the probability of selecting 2 green balls and 2 blue marbles? 2 blue balls. So since we have here our n here is equal to four marbles, four factory or four marbles and our x sub one is since the us here is two green and through two marbles so we assume that the red is zero and x sub two is equal to two and x sub three is equal to two and to get four the probability for this one Okay, so since this is two red marbles, so we have to compute for two over ten. And for this one, two green marbles, we have two over uh, okay, two over ten. Uh, no, three over ten rather. There are three three marbles. And the last one, 4x sub 3, which is 5 over 10. So this is the probability of 1, and the probability of 2, and the probability of 3. So by the use of calculator or formula, so 4 factorial over 0 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial, we have here 0 0.2 raised to 0 times 0 0.3, Divide 3, divide 10 is 0 0.3 raised to 2 and 0 0.5 raised to 2. So if we're going to calculate that 1, it would result to 0 0.135. Alright, so thank you so much. And we have your try this at home. So a box contains 4 white balls, 3 red balls, and 3 blue balls. A ball is selected at random and its color is written down. It is replaced. It is replaced each time. Find the probability that if five balls are selected, two are white, two are red, and one is blue. Okay, so do not forget to comment down your answers, and I'll be checking that one. Thank you, and thank you for tuning in to this Casaligan Blogs, and I hope everyone, you will watch more videos about Casaligan Blogs uh, for entertainment and for um educational purpose. Thank you and God bless everyone. God bless